Unit 8. Movement. Accelerate. To happen or make something happen at a faster rate. I started to feel nervous as the car accelerated. Approach. To move closer to someone or something. As we approached the airport, we put our seat belts on. Approach. To speak to someone about something for the first time, especially in order to ask for help or make an offer. I decided to approach Dr. Wilson for advice. Approach. A particular way of thinking about or dealing with something. She has an interesting approach to teaching. Approach. The fact of coming closer in time or in distance. With the approach of the holidays, we all begin to dream of sunnier places. Ascend. To climb a mountain, stairs, etc. As we began to ascend the mountain, the weather got worse. Bounce. If a ball or other object bounces, or if you bounce it, it hits a surface, then immediately moves away from it. Stop bouncing that ball against the wall. Bounce. The movement of a ball or other object when it hits a surface and moves away again. You are allowed one bounce and then you have to catch the ball again. Clamber. To climb something with difficulty, using your hands and feet. We quickly clambered up the rocks. Clench. If you clench a part of your body, such as your hand or your mouth, or if it clenches, you close it tightly, especially because you are angry or upset. Matt clenched his teeth, but didn't say anything. Clutch. To hold someone or something firmly, for example, because you are afraid or in pain, or do not want to lose them. I clutched my passport as we made our way through the busy airport, crawl. To move along the ground on your hands and knees or with your body close to the ground. Most babies begin to crawl when they are a few months old. Creep. If someone creeps somewhere, they move there quietly and slowly. The burglar crept along the corridor. Dash. To run or go somewhere very quickly because you are in a hurry. I must just dash to the post office. Descend. To go down a mountain or slope, or to go downstairs. We descended the mountain slowly. Drift. To be pushed along very slowly by the movement of air or water. The boat must have been drifting for a long time. Drift. A slow and gradual change from one situation or opinion to another. There's been a drift in public opinion away from supporting the policy. Drift. The meaning that someone is trying to express. I don't speak French very well. But I got his drift. Emigrate. To leave your country in order to live in another country, on a permanent basis. My brother is thinking of emigrating to Australia. Float. To rest or move slowly on the surface of a liquid and not sink. I was floating in the sea when a wave came over my head. Flow. If a liquid flows, it moves smoothly and continuously in one direction. The river Thames flows from west to east. Flow. The continuous movement of a liquid in one direction. The flow of water was so powerful that it knocked me off my feet. Fumble. To try to hold. Move or find something using your hands in a way that is not skillful or graceful. She fumbled in her bag and finally found a pen. Gesture. To make a movement with your hands or head in order to show or tell someone something. 
Alec gestured towards the photograph on the wall. Gesture. A movement that communicates a feeling or instruction. Gestures differ from culture to culture. Glide. To move in a smooth and easy way with no noise. The dancer seemed to glide across the floor. Grab. To take hold of something in a rough or rude way. It's very rude to grab things out of other people's hands. Grasp. To take and hold something or someone very tightly. Vicky grasped my hand as we crossed the busy road. Hop. To move forward by jumping on one foot. Can you hop on one leg? Hop. A quick jump on one foot. The little girl jumped over the cat with a hop. Immigrant. Someone who comes to live in a country from another country. I don't think it's right that all these immigrants should be allowed to come here. Jog. To run at a slow steady speed, usually for exercise or pleasure. I jog about five miles every morning. Jog. A run for exercise or pleasure at a slow steady speed. Do you want to go for a jog? Leap. To jump over something. He leapt over the table and punched me in the face. Leap. A jump, especially a long or high one. It'll take a big leap to get over the stream. March. If soldiers march, they walk in a group with each person matching the speed and movements of the others. They marched for days to get to the border. March. A walk by a group of soldiers in which each person matches the speed and movements of the others. The soldiers were tired after a long march. Migrate. If a bird or animal migrates, it travels to another part of the world for warmer weather at a particular time of the year. You often see large flocks of birds as they migrate south. Point. To show something by holding out your finger or a long thin object. I looked where she was pointing. Punch. To hit someone or something with your fist, usually as hard as you can. Tony punched the wall in anger. Refugee. Someone who leaves their country, especially during a war or other threatening event. More than a million refugees are trying to escape the fighting, Rome. To move or travel with no particular purpose. We spent the afternoon just roaming the hills. Roll. To move forward while turning over and over. I spotted a ball rolling towards me and picked it up. Rotate. To move in a circle around a fixed central point, or to move something in this way. This part rotates, spraying water on all the dirty dishes. Root. The roads or paths that you use when you go from one place to another. I'm just planning our route for tomorrow. Sink. To disappear below the surface of the water. The ship sank when it hit an iceberg. Skid. To slide across the ground in an uncontrolled way. The car skidded on the wet road. Skid. A sudden uncontrolled slide across the ground, especially by a vehicle. We went into a skid because there was ice on the road. Skip. To move forwards by jumping first on one foot and then the other. I loved school when I was young and I used to skip all the way there. Slide. To move smoothly and quickly across a surface. Jason slid a pen to me across the table. Slide. 
A structure that children play on by climbing up steps and sliding down a slope on the other side. Let Tammy have a go on the slide now. Slip. If you slip, your feet slide accidentally and you lose your balance or fall over. I slipped on the stairs. Step. To move by putting one foot down in front of the other. Would you just step this way, sir? Step. A short movement made by putting one foot in front of the other. You can get a device that counts how many steps you take in a day. Step. One of a series of actions you do in order to achieve a particular aim. What's the next step? Stride. To walk with energy and confidence. The head teacher strode into the room and looked at us. Stride. A long confident step. In a couple of strides, the speaker had crossed the stage and was ready to start. Trip. To hit your foot on something and fall down. I tripped as I was going into the bedroom. Velocity. The speed that something moves at in one direction. Bullets travel at very high velocities. Wander. To travel from place to place, especially on foot, without a particular direction or purpose. I wandered around the art gallery for an hour. Wave. To move your hand to say hello or goodbye or as a signal. We waved to Valerie as the train pulled away. Wave. A movement of your hand used for saying hello or goodbye to someone or for giving a signal. The queen gave the crowd a quick wave. Transport. Airline. A company that owns aircraft and takes people or goods by plane from one place to another. I've applied for a job with another airline. Cargo. Things that are being sent by ship, plane, train, or truck. It took them all morning to load the cargo. Carriage. One of the vehicles that are joined together to make a train. The carriage was practically empty when we got on the train. Charter. To hire a boat, plane, or bus, especially for use by a group of people. We decided to charter a plane to take us deeper into the Amazon. Commute. To travel regularly to and from work. I'm getting fed up with commuting every day. Destination. The place where someone or something is going. We were all exhausted when we finally reached our destination. Hiker. Someone who walks for long distances in the countryside for pleasure. A group of hikers came over the hill. Hitchhiker. Someone who travels by asking other people to take them in their car, by standing at the side of a road and holding out their thumb or a sign. We picked up a hitchhiker outside Oxford. Jet lag. The feeling of being very tired and sometimes confused because you have traveled quickly on a plane across parts of the world where the time is different. Polly was suffering from jet lag for a few days. Legroom. The amount of space in front of your seat in which you can stretch your legs. Let's go business class because you get more legroom. Load. To put a load onto or into something such as a vehicle or container. Load up the van, and then you can get going. Load. The goods that a vehicle carries. Try to spread the load evenly inside the lorry. Passerby. Someone who is walking past a place, especially when an accident or violent event happens. The accident was reported to police by a passerby. 
pedestrian. Someone who is walking, especially in a town or city, instead of driving or riding. Pedestrians need to be particularly careful at this crossing. Pier A structure built out from the land over water and used for getting on and off boats. We walked along the pier and jumped into the boat. Pilot To fly an aircraft. I wonder what it's like to pilot a jet. Pilot Someone who flies an aircraft. The pilot announced that we were about to hit bad weather. Quay A hard surface next to a sea or river, where boats can stop. There were fishing boats all along the quay. Return fare The money you pay for a journey to and from a place. The return fare into town is about a pound. Round trip an occasion when you go somewhere and come back to your starting point again. The round trip took me about four days. Steer To control the direction in which a vehicle moves. You steer the hang glider by moving your weight from side to side. Steward A man whose job is to look after the passengers on a plane, train, or ship especially serving them with food and drink. The steward brought me a blanket.